error estimates for quantification regions calculated from a survey spectrum are calculated in CASA XPS using a Monte Carlo approach. So we would like to illustrate how these error estimates can be displayed as an annotation table. So the first thing we'll do is calculate from these data a quantification table based on regions and these regions have been automatically created and they include a, a sulfur 2p and just to illustrate a further point namely how to create manually a region we'll delete the sulfur 2p and replace it with a sulfur 2s region so we begin by just using the delete option after selecting the sulfur 2p and then using the element table again because we do not have a logical connection between the transitions and the data in the survey spectrum we use the element table to create a region so that the relative sensitivity factor is brought in from the library so now we have a quantification table and this quantification table we will use to calculate what the current relationship is between the lithium sulfur and oxygen and we're just illustrating a feature here that is in 2.3.18 of CASA XPS where we use tag fields uh, to construct an empirical formula for the sample given the quantification table that is currently active so in, in this case you can see escape depths corrected Schofield cross sections have given us the expected formula lithium 2 sulfur 1 oxygen 4 and there's a small amount of carbon we'll now make a small adjustment to the text that's used to display this annotation of the empirical formula so if we just select it in the annotation history we can then adjust in the text field the value and then apply it so we can now see it as you would expect lithium 2 sulfur 1 oxygen 4 and similarly we're going to do an adjustment to the annotation table first of all we'll delete it and then we'll go to the regions property page and we'll create a new annotation table we'll exclude some fields but we'll include the uncertainty column and this will allow us to see what happens when we do this calculation so calculating error bars means that the annotation table is then populated with values showing us the uncertainty in the atomic concentrations. We can see that the carbon is located at 281 so we'll just do a quick calibration based on the adventitious carbon set it at 285 electron volts. So having compensated for that all of the other peaks now align in binding energy according to that calibration. And you can see that once you've adjusted some element of the quantification, the, the calculation for the error bars must be performed again. So what we'll do now is just illustrate why this calculation works for these particular data. And if we add a regression type background on the background you, of, a, of the spectrum, you can see that the residual standard deviation is about unity it's slightly less due to multiple detectors but this should be compared with what you would obtain for data such as these infrared spectra where the residual standard deviation is very different from unity so the calculation would not be appropriate for these infrared data